Here we are talking about systems of linear inequalities. Um, this is a single linear inequality. It's not a system. We'll get to that. We'll start with graphing one single linear inequality. It's not a linear equation. It's not equals. It's got a less than or a greater than. Our goal here is to graph this object, to shade some section of the xy plane that satisfies this statement. So the first thing we do is graph y equals 3x plus 1. Forget about the greater thans, the less thans, graph the line itself. And do this using your favorite method. You can use uh, an xy chart, you can find the intercepts, you can just use a, the slope and the y-intercept. That's how I'll do it in this particular example, but that's up to you. Graph the line using your favorite method. I'll use the slope and the y-intercept. We have here b equals 1, so the y-intercept is the point 0, 1. There's one point. Then the slope is 3, so from that point, if I go over 1, up 3, there's another point. So those two points live on this line. Now I'm going to graph the line. Now I look up here, I want to eventually graph y is less than or equal to 3x plus 1. Because of this equal here, I want this line to be a solid line. If I didn't have the equal to there, I would make this a dashed line. We'll do an example like that in a minute. Okay, so that's this line. y equals 3x plus 1. I don't want the line. I want to shade either everything above the line, everything up here, or everything below the line, down here. Now I'll teach you a trick in a minute, but the typical way we do this is with a test point. We pick a point not on the line, some point that's clearly not on the line. You want to stay away from the line. So I'll pick, say, the point over here, 2, 1. I just made that up. Pick a point not on the line, 2, we want to test if this point makes this inequality true or false. So I'm going to plug in, of course that's my x, that's my y. My question is, is 1, the y, less than or equal to 3 times 2 plus 1? Question mark. I don't know. I'm testing it. If I get a true statement here, then this point is on the correct half the half I'm supposed to shade. If I get a false statement, then I am supposed to shade the other half, the half that doesn't have the test point. Okay, so let's check. What do we get here? 1 less than or equal to question mark. We're testing. 6 plus 1. Is 1 less than or equal to 7? Yes, it is. That tells me something. That tells me this test point is on the half I'm supposed to shade. If I got a false statement here, I would shade the other half. Okay, so now we're going to shade the half with the test point. That's this half over here. So I shade everything underneath the line. So this is the solution. All points in this shaded region satisfy this inequality. Now, a shortcut we could have used here. This doesn't always work, but it would in this case. If my line is in slope-intercept form, y is less than or y is greater than, if y is over here by itself, when it's less than, we shade below, greater than, we shade above. Okay, and we'll do that in a minute. Let's look at another example. This one will be a little longer. We want to solve this system of linear inequalities by graphing. It's the way we always do this, we just graph. Our answer is a picture, not a number or a point. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is graph the line 2x plus 3y equals 6. Forget about the greater thans, the less thans. We want to graph the line 2x plus 3y equals 6. I'll do this one doing an XY chart. 
When x equals 0, you can use the cover up method here. When x equals 0, 3y equals 6, we get y equals 2. When y equals 0, 2x equals 6, x equals 3. So two points on that line are the point 0, 2 and 3, 0. And I would just draw a line through the two points. Because I have the equal to here, I want a solid line. And we'll see when we get down to the second line, because there's no equal to, we'll do a dashed line. Okay, now I either want to shade above everything up here in this region, or below. Everything down below the line. I had to figure out which one, we use a test point. So we pick any point that's clearly not on the line. So say the origin, right here, that's clearly not on the line. So we will test 0, 0. We either get a true statement or a false statement. So 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0, question mark, is less than or equal to 6. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 times 0 another 0. We get 0 less than or equal to 6. Is that true or false? That's a true statement. That means our test point, the origin, is on the half I'm supposed to shade. If we get a false statement, we shade the half without the test point. So we'll use, I'll use purple here, shade everything underneath this line, the half with the test point. Okay, now we repeat the process for the other line. So now we want to graph on top of the picture we already have, x plus y equals 2. Again, we can make an xy chart. When x equals 0, y would equal 2. When y equals 0, x would equal 2. Okay, so that's pretty easy to graph. We have the point 0, 2 the point to zero, and then we draw a line through the points. Notice we do not have an equal to here, so we're going to draw a dashed line. So that's the line x plus y equals two. Worry about the greater than in a minute. Okay, we we'll pick a test point. We can use any test point we want as long as it's not on the line. Just for fun, I'm going to use 0, 0. But it could be any point not on the line. And we test back up here using the original inequality. Is 0 plus 0 question mark greater than 2? Is 0 greater than 2? No, it's not. So this point, the origin, is on the wrong side of this blue line. I want to shade the other side. So I shade everything above this blue line. I shaded below the black line, above the blue line. The answer I'm looking for, the region I want, is that region where I shaded both times. So in this section in here, I've got purple and blue. This section here is the part I shaded twice. That's the solution. That's the set of points that satisfy both of these inequalities. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, we want to solve this system of linear inequalities by graphing. We're always doing this by graphing. We've got these two inequalities. Um, now here, in both cases, we've got y is blank. y is less than, y is greater than. We've got y over here on the left side by itself. There's a shortcut we can use. If we see y is less than, we shade below the line. If we see y is greater than, we shade above the line. 
So let's graph the first line, y equals negative 2x plus 3. I'm going to graph this using the slope and the y-intercept. b is 3, so the y-intercept is the point 0, 3. Slope is negative 2, so if I go over 1, down 2, I hit another point, two points on that particular line. I look up here at my original problem. I did not have an equal. There's no equal right here, so I want a dashed line. That's this line here, dashed because there's no equal. Now I look and it says less than, so I want to shade below the line. So uh, let's do Shade below that first line. Everything down here is shaded. Repeat. Graph the line. Y equals 4x minus 1 on top of what we already have. Y intercept is the point 0, negative 1. Slope is 4. So if I go over 1, up 4, so I'm down at negative 1. Up 4 would be 0, 1, 2, 3. There's a second point. Here are my two points. Draw a line through them. I have an equal to this time, so I want a solid line. And now using the shortcut, again, I could do this with test points, but it's easier using the shortcut. I see greater than, I want to shade above this line. This region down here is below, it's underneath the line. This region here is above the line. So let's do that in purple. So I want to shade everything above the second line. The region you shaded twice is your solution. That's this corner back here, in between here and here. I have blue and purple. So let's really darken that in. There's my solution. That corner back there. The rest of this is here, there. That is just my intermediate work. This is the solution, that corner over there. Okay, one more example. These always tend to cause problems, and they're actually the easiest ones. Okay, I want to solve this System of linear inequalities, y is greater than or equal to 5, x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, what does this look like? y equals 5. That's a horizontal line. It's right here. y equals 5. There's the line, y equals 5. Remember, y equals is a horizontal line. I want greater than 5. So above is greater, below is less. So we'll shade everything above y equals 5. And rinse and repeat. We graph x equals 2. Forget about the greater thans and the less thans for a minute. x equals 2 is a vertical line. Both of these have the equals. That's why both of these are solid lines. Okay, x is greater than 2 is which half? Which half, the right or the left, do x's get bigger? Well, on the right side, here are the bigger x's over here. So we shade everything to the right of that line. So this was the line x equals 2. This blue region is where x is greater than 2. What region did I shade twice? This corner up here. Everything to the right of x equals 2. Everything above y equals 5. This corner up here. So just to really illustrate where the solution is, it's, it's really dark in that end. That's the solution. All points up here satisfy both of these inequalities. And that's it.